Alright folks, Rich Van Tassel back with you finishing up the games for tonight, which is Thursday the 20th of April 2017. Memphis getting a win, 105-94 over the San Antonio Spurs. Game was really blown open in the third quarter. It was only a four-point lead for the Grizzlies at halftime, 31-17 in the third quarter for the Grizzlies. Uh, they played to a split in the first quarter, uh, 129-15 in the second quarter. Spurs won the third quarter 31 to 20 or the fourth 31 to 24. Memphis had extended themselves. A lot of those points came in garbage time, but really it was the third quarter that turned it around. You look at the Spurs, uh, the other three quarters they won. Uh, I didn't win them all, but if you took all three quarters combined, they won by three points and still lost by 11. So a poor third quarter for the Memphis Grizzlies or for the San Antonio Spurs. The Grizzlies good in the third quarter. Grizzlies finding their offense in this one. In the third, it started out bad. I mean, the first inbounds pass went out of bounds. Uh, Greg Popovich pulled all five of the players who started the third quarter. I would assume they were his starters in uh, like a minute and a half in. Uh, Lamarcus Aldridge, 16 points, 5 of 8 shooting, 11 rebounds. Kawhi Leonard kept in check, 6 of 11 shooting good. This time he only shot four th free throws, though. And at 18 points, Tony Parker went scoreless. 0 for 4, did have a rebound, but no assists. Uh, Deadman, 2 points. Danny Green, 3 of 9, shooting 6 points. Did not make a 3-point shot. Off the bench, Patty Mills had 11. Uh, Anderson had 15. Simmons had 10. Uh, not all of that was in garbage time. But still, um, you know, the bench unit played much better than the starters in this one. The starters were actually terrible for the Spurs. I mean, Aldridge and Leonard give you only 34 points. And between the other three in the starters, you can't even get 10. Uh, you're not going to win many games. 34 of 72 shooting, 47.2%, 10 of 24, 41.7 from behind the arc for the Spurs. So that's not bad there as far as shooting percentage-wise. You know, 94 points isn't terrible, but it just it fell apart in the third quarter, and the numbers can be conflated in that way. But you look at it, I mean, 10 of 24 is pretty good <laughs> to make your threes. You'll take that in most games and usually be a lot more competitive. For the Grizzlies, Zach Randolph moved into the starting lineup. He dropped 21 points, 8 rebounds, no assists, but did have a block, 9 of 16 shooting. Marcus Gasol, 8 of 14, 21 points. Mike Conley Jr., 7 of 13, 24 points, 8 assists. Vince Carter, only 4 points, but uh, Ennis, who moved into the starting lineup. Remember, uh, Randolph outplayed LaMarcus Aldridge. That was a matchup where... I looked at going into this series. I thought Jermichael Green had to at least be competitive with Aldridge. He wasn't in the first two games, so they had the movement of the bench. He was effective off the bench, 8 points, plus 17, 4 of 7 shooting, 6 rebounds. Uh, Wayne Seldon had 10 points off the bench. So let's see what will happen with Memphis moving forward with that new lineup. Remember, I picked Memphis to win this series now. They'll clearly have to win game four to make it competitive. But, you know, this is one of the things with the Spurs. If Tony Parker uh, can't play that well and clearly didn't tonight, I would expect a better game. But Mike Conley clearly has the advantage. Now, the reason this game was, you know, as I don't want to say out of hand because it never really got totally out of hand. I mean, I don't think Memphis ever pushed it to 20 points, but they were basically comfortably ahead for most of the second half by a 15 to 18 point range. Sometimes it was down to 13, but for the most part, the Grizzlies were ahead and uh, kept the lead and managed the lead for a majority of the second half. Of course, excuse me, of course, some garbage time got uh, the numbers more respectable in that regard, but Mike Conley is, you know, I, I think a better a better player than Tony Parker. If Zach Randolph, now in the starting lineup, can outplay LaMarcus Aldridge, that certainly puts things back in a frame. Remember, it was that Aldridge against whoever for the Grizzlies at the power forward. Now, will that affect the Grizzlies off the bench? Of course, it will. Green gave them eight points. They'll still need to find a little more scoring. I mean, they've only scored 82 of uh, the first two games, split 82 twice. We're able to get 105 tonight, but their defense was effective in this one and more of a complete defensive game all the way around. I mean, obviously in the fourth, they gave up 31, but the highest total besides that was 25, 21, and 17 were the other two quarters. So the Grizzlies were able to put forth a good defensive effort for the entire game. And if they can maintain that, I expect this to be a series. Let's see what uh, San Antonio comes out with in Game 4. You would expect, obviously, that they're going to be uh, much sharper. Tony Parker is going to have a better game. But the Grizzlies have figured some things out, and I expect a much tighter Game 4. And let's see if the Grizzlies can pull that one out and really put some pressure on the Spurs. 
All right, tomorrow I got some things to do. We got uh, three games. Uh, the Boston and Chicago game, I'm probably going to miss most of it. But the other games will either give you the reports when they go final. It is a Friday night, so I can probably stay up a little bit. But you have... Um, a 9.30 and 10 o'clock start, Houston, Oklahoma City, 9.30, and then the Clippers and Utah at 10. So we'll do what we can for those. If not, be sure to check those out Saturday. And remember, we appreciate all subscriptions. Have a good night.